In this short video, I'll show you how to import a workout file from an external source into uh, ERG video. So um, you can have ERG files or workout files from various sources, either format.fit, .erg, or .mrc. And uh, here I've just got my training peaks and I've built some workouts. So here's a workout that I could import. Uh, we also have, for example, the Training Peaks Workout of the Day import. Um, that's the topic of another video. But um, this is just, you know, taking taking a file from any source. Uh, at Training Peaks here, they've got an export workout file option. And you should pick fit. We do import ERG and MRC. However, we're going to be providing more functionality and more features around the fit format and the features available uh, around these formats are going to be limited. Okay, so uh, click fit and it will go into your, if you save it, it will go into your downloads folder. Um, however you set your browser up uh, to, to put downloads, but basically I'll bring into view my downloads folder here and I've got the, that's their file naming convention, the date and the beginning of the uh, the name of the workout and erg video will create a folder in your documents for each for each user erg video data and if you are an erg video customer you're familiar with this um, place because it's where we store your performances and your reports and settings so we create a, a folder, <clears throat> excuse me, a folder called workouts, which is your default destination for workouts. So just go from your downloads, drag and drop into your workouts folder, or actually you can put it anywhere on your system if you'd like, because we have a facility in Erg Video to redirect your default, um, or the folder that, that we look at by default. So, uh, launch Erg video. So, when we select a workout file, it will automatically go to Documents, Erg Video Data, and Workouts. And I guess I do date modified. I've got camel humps there. And we import it. Bang. Works fine. So that's how you do it, and you can click Let's Ride, and um, your riding environment will come up. So uh, I mentioned earlier how to redirect where Erg Video looks by default for your workouts. Options and settings, general settings, directory path for non-Erg Video workouts. That's the default. You can change it by creating a new folder or just sending it somewhere else, like uh, there. And of course then the next time I say select a workout file, it's going to that folder. Okay. So there you have it. That's how to import external workout files into the ERG video environment so that you can uh, take advantage of the ERG video free um, features that allow you to ride ERG files. And there we have it.